Blake and I are in the needles of Canyonlands. Our plan today is to start at Sage Campground, then head out towards the Chesler Park Trail, do an out and back to the joint, then come back and then do an out and back to Druid Arch, and then do a little lollipop and back to the campground. Should be great. Blake and I are a couple miles in here in Canyonland on the Chesler Park Trail, headed towards the joint. Blake's decided to slow things down and eat his cherry pie. How's it taste, Blake? So good. They call it the needles, and it's easy to see why, but we're getting pretty close to the joint. The joint is a tiny slot canyon that we're going to hit here in a couple miles. Yeah, we're probably mile six out of 20. I was just telling Danny that this place is actually really cool. I haven't seen something this cool in a long time. One other thing great about this trail is that I don't have to fear for my, for my life. We have super bad avalanche conditions right now on the Wasatch Front and I got caught in an avalanche a couple weeks ago and I've been terrified of them ever since. So it's nice to come out here and not have to worry about, you know, having snow pile on top of your face and smother you until you're dead. All right, Blake and I are almost to our first objective, which is something called the joint. It's a short slot canyon. That's pretty cool. We're gonna do an out and back to the joint, then back to the loop, and then over to Druid Arch. A stone staircase is always a sign that you are in a well-developed outdoor area. The joint, like I said, it was short. It's a brief slot, but it's cool. Well worth the diversion. I think even Blake would agree. Now that we're done with the joint, we're headed over to Druid Arch, which is some four or five miles away. So from one attraction to the other, it's like the Disneyland of Southern Utah. We're on the Druid Arch out and back. It's a two mile out and a two mile back, obviously. Blake doesn't think any arch is worth two miles, but we're gonna do this out and back and then we're gonna get back on the trail to the Squaw Campground. Maybe for the first time in mediocre amateur history, Blake and I might come at or under our mileage. First time ever, I've been super blown away by an arch. This Druid arch is incredible, definitely I gotta say, it's probably my favorite arch I've ever been to. You give this hike and this arch a 9.5 out of 10. Really cool. It's a pretty cool arch because it's atypical. And so it's got some character. It's arch with attitude. Now we just have to head back the two miles to the main trail and then the five miles back to the car. So we are seven miles away from the end of our day. We both must have a little bit of that spring fever because we've been incredibly optimistic this entire time. Right now I feel great and I love this place. Like I've never been here before and it's awesome. Just absolutely two thumbs up. All right, we've caught back up to the trail we took out to Chesler Park. 
And now we're headed back to the car. We are about to end close to our mileage as predicted at the beginning. The fact that we're finishing on time, not in the dark, close to the mileage we thought we would be doing is why Blake has been so cheery all day long. We came in under the mileage that Danny estimated. Definitely a success, at least a nine out of 10. It was a lot of fun. Now all that's left is for us to pack up our car get changed out of these sandy socks and head off for a Mexican meal.